The media has been talking about how India is building coal power plants. However, coal and gas power both decline by the largest rate in more than 30 years in India in May. Now, why is this happening? Well, one thing, renewable energy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Michael Barnard writes for Clean Technica that um, India's energy landscape is at a pivotal crossroads exemplified by the recent decline in coal and gas-powered generation. In May 2025, there was the steepest year-over-year -year drop since COVID-19. Now, obviously, COVID-19 was an anomaly. Everything shut down. So actually, it was the steepest drop technically outside of that anomaly of COVID-19 in the last 30 years. The rapid contraction in coal usage attributed to an amalgamation of economic slowdowns, surging renewable deployment, and increasingly cost-competitive solar and wind projects, along with batteries, suggesting that India is hitting a tipping point towards substantial decarbonisation. Coal remains deeply embedded within India's power sector, but that is changing. And these developments underscore a trajectory toward a cleaner, more sustainable and economically resilient energy system. Now, it's worth pointing out that India is a very, very sunny country. And yes, it is building massive amounts of solar power, but it has a, an enormous population of 1.3 billion people. And as a result, in 2023, the last full year for which we have uh, good, accurate data, India's energy was basically derived from fossil dependent sources like coal, crude oil, and natural gas. They dominated. Coal in particular underpinned nearly half of the total energy input, fueling India's industrial powerhouse sectors such as steel, cement, and power generation. The inefficiencies associated with coal-fired electricity generation were profound, and the pollution as well, with roughly two-thirds of coal's primary energy content dissipating into the atmosphere as pure waste heat. This loss was not just an environmental concern, but a significant economic and resource inefficiency driving a compelling argument for transitioning towards more efficient and sustainable energy sources. And considering India's, um, its weather, having so much sun, it just makes more sense for India to move towards solar. The rest of India's energy mix in 2023 presented a complex blend of traditional biomass, oil-based fuels and natural gas, alongside growing but still modest contributions from renewables like wind, solar, and hydro. Despite aggressive policy ambitions for renewable expansion, renewables comprised less than a quarter of electricity generation, highlighting the enormous challenge that is still in front ahead for India. Biomass, historically crucial for residential cooking, had gradually declined as liquid petroleum gas access improved, but still accounted for a substantial proportion of household energy usage. Transportation predominantly dependent on imported oil represented a significant source of both economic vulnerability and environmental impact, given India's reliance on fossil fuel-based road transport and rapidly increasing vehicle fleets. Now, all of these fossil fuel use in India has led to the, it having the most polluted cities in the world. Many people say that um, people in India, lots of them are dying, literally hundreds of thousands, as a result of massive pollution. So where is India heading? Well, looking to 2050, Clean Technica says that the vision for a fully electrified Indian economy powered predominantly by renewable energy presents a transformative opportunity. Looking at Pakistan, I mean, look at the rise in solar in their neighboring country. Central to India's future is a dramatic shift toward wind and solar, supported strategically by expanded hydroelectricity and maintained nuclear generation at current modest levels. In other words, nuclear will play only a very small part in India's future. A one month ago, India hit one its 100 gigawatt solar milestone, and that was a record number. Now, India made record progress in its renewable energy targets in 2024 with record amounts of solar and wind capacity and batteries amidst strong government support and enormous growing domestic manufacturing. 
the country is moving towards its renewable energy goals for 2030. Notably, India's Ministry of New and of New and Renewable Energy revealed that the country's solar energy capacity hit 94 gigawatts in 2024. Now, looking at this chart, you can see the dramatic rise of solar in India over the past two years, or in fact, over the past 10 years. Solar energy is remaining the main driver of renewable growth, making up 47% of India's total renewable energy capacity. Data shows that India actually added 24.5 gigawatts of solar and 3.4 gigawatts of wind energy, the highest ever in a single year in 2024. Solar capacity was more than doubled versus 2023. Wind power grew by 21%. Utility scale solar. India installed 18.5 gigawatts of utility scale solar projects, which was nearly 2.8 times more than in 2023. Growth of 280% or more than that. Rajasthan and several other cities led this growth. The rooftop solar sector saw strong momentum, adding 4.6 gigawatts of capacity and increase of 53% from 2023. Off-grid solar. So houses that are off-grid, they saw strong, a strong increase as well with 1.5 gigawatts of off-grid solar added in 2024. That was growth of 182%. India's solar manufacturing in 2025 and beyond. Here's what's happening. As of the 20th of January, 2025, India's total non-fossil fuel energy capacity hit 217.6 gigawatts. The country is aiming for 500 gigawatts of non-fossil fuel-based energy capacity by 2030 and these new additions are helping India progress in that direction. However, India is rapidly emerging as a solar powerhouse. In February 2025, the country surpassed 100 gigawatts of installed solar capacity, becoming the fourth nation worldwide to actually hit that milestone. More than half of this capacity was installed in just the past three years. That's a huge leap from the 2.8 gigawatts installed in 2014. Looking ahead, India plans to expand its solar production capacity enormously. Here's some highlights. By 2030, solar module capacity is expected to hit 160 gigawatts. Solar cell capacity will hit 120 gigawatts. This is enabling India to become a solar manufacturing powerhouse. Notably, with continued government support, the country plans to ramp up its module production capacity to 100 gigawatts by 2030. So it's not just China mass manufacturing enormous amounts of solar, it's India as well. These figures reveal India's goal, which is to reduce import dependency, particularly on China, and build a fully integrated solar manufacturing ecosystem. Strong government support is fueling solar growth. With record capacity additions last year and a huge support from the government, India is on the right path to becoming a global clean energy leader. So what's next for India's solar sector? By 2030, experts say India's solar industry will play an enormous role in helping the world meet its climate goals. With plans to produce 160 gigawatts of solar modules and 120 gigawatts of cells, India is on its way to becoming a key player in the global solar supply chain. As the world moves towards cleaner energy, India's leadership in solar technology is going to serve as a model for other countries. We, we talk about China often on this channel. I talk about China and their solar manufacturing and not just their manufacturing of solar, but their build out, their installments of solar are unbelievable, more than the rest of the world combined. But India is also playing a role. Their focused and forward-looking approach to solar is positioning the country at the heart of the global energy transition.